Good morning once again. Uh, Daniel Whiting here with you to bring you another daily devotional from uh, People's Baptist Church. Uh, I hope that these have been an amazing blessing to you, and I hope that you'll comment on them and uh, let us know of any questions you have or if they've been a blessing to you. Um, but today we're going to be uh, looking once again in Hebrews, but this time we're going to be looking in chapter 10, and this is actually going to um, tie in at the end with um, with what we've looked at yesterday and uh, living worthy of God's grace. Um, but we're going to start in Hebrews chapter 10, verse number 37, uh, where it says, For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Now that now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Uh, this this passage brings to mind once again what we've what we've been uh, looking at pretty re a lot recently, but this is um, a little bit different. We're looking at living by faith. You know, we have been looking at living by grace, but we're looking at living by faith, um, which we're called to do as believers. You know, Paul talks about that so much in his epistles when he's talking to the church. Sometimes he's giving them a tongue lashing uh, for the way they have backslidden. And um, but we are called to live by faith. And but more specifically, what what faith are we called to live by? Well, the two that come to mind is first of all, we're called to live by the faith that God will sustain us, um, that He'll sustain and su supply our every need, um, which He promises that He'll do. Um, but then also, even more so, uh, is the faith that that saved us. And the faith that is causing us to grow in Christ and in the riches of His grace. You know, it, it says right here in um, verses 38 and 39, you know, we're not to live as those who don't have that faith. The very fact that we have that faith is what sets us apart from the world. We have that faith in Christ and the grace of His salvation. Um, and, you know, what, what does living by faith look like? Um, specifically, it can take on many forms, but um, in just the most basic sense, it looks like, first of all, trusting God's promise um, to supply our every need. Uh, but then it also looks like living a parent of the faith that we have unto salvation and living a life that's worthy of the grace of God that he has given us so that his grace may not be in vain, which is what we uh, focused on yesterday. Um, but God's faith and grace, they they walk hand in hand. Um, or uh, let me rephrase that. Our faith in God and the grace that he bestows on us, they walk hand in hand. Um, and... Once again, the more you look at these different epistles in the New Testament, the more uh, the more this becomes apparent and applicable in our lives. Uh, I would definitely recommend reading. All Hebrews is an amazing, amazing book. I would recommend you reading it. It's so it's been so fruitful to me and helpful. Um, but I hope that this has been a blessing to you and fruitful to you in your lives, and that this will um, uh, help you um, just help you have the proper start to your day uh, from God's Word. I uh, hope it's been an encouragement, and please like and subscribe, and we'll see you again tomorrow for another daily devotional. Have an amazing day.